What's up guys? This is your boy Taris, aka Butterchain Gaming, BKA Paris with the T, and we are back with another video. Today I want to talk about Xbox One X. Yes, you heard it. Xbox One X. Not Xbox Scorpio, not Project Scorpio, but Xbox One Garbage X. Ugh. I mean, as you know, I'm a Sony head. I love PlayStation, but I love gaming, so it's all right. My thing is, everybody, well, basically Microsoft is trying to build the Xbox One X hype off of how better, how much more better it is than PlayStation 4 Pro. And my thing is, if you look at the specs, they're kind of almost, almost, I said almost, not fully, almost even. Well, let's talk about teraflops. Anybody who really knows about teraflops, I don't really know all that stuff. But I know that the higher the number, the better it is. So, um, if you're looking at the Xbox One X, you're looking at six teraflops. If you're looking at the PS4, you're looking at 4.12 teraflops. I mean, it's not really that much, that big of a jump. You're only looking at maybe one point, if I do the math correctly, 1.88 teraflops. So you're not really looking at too much of a jump. Same thing with the gig, with the RAM. The, I think, I think, the PlayStation 4, you know what, no, hold on, I'm gonna look this up really quick. Let me look this up. Cause I wanna get, I wanna know. So the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One both have eight cores. That's one, the only thing is, the Xbox One X is clocking at 2.3 gigahertz. That's about it. And the PlayStation 4 is clocking at 2.13 gigahertz. Um, let's see. What else we got here? All right, so you're looking at the PlayStation Pro has eight gigs of GDDR5 with an additional one gig of RAM set aside for handling background progresses, right? But the Xbox One X has 12 gigs of GDDR5 you're looking at only four gigs more. It's like, yes, I understand it's 12. Now, that's a lot, don't get me wrong, it's a lot. But it's like, I can see if it did 16 or if it did like 32 gigs, but it's like, you're not really getting that big of a jump. So, for me, they're trying to sell the Xbox One X only off of the sheer fact that they're saying it's better than PlayStation 4. What you, should, what you really should be doing is stop releasing so many damn systems at one time. Like, you have, a, you have the Xbox One X. You have the Xbox One. Then you have the Xbox One S. Then you come out, then like a year later, you come out with the Xbox One X. Like, you're killing it. And then the S sounds pretty close to S. So it's like, what were you guys thinking there, for one? And I don't think I'm an Xbox hater. I'm not an Xbox hater. I used to own an Xbox. I still own one. So it's not that I'm hating on Xbox. My thing is, is that they're trying to sell the Xbox. I'm going to say it again. On the sheer fact that they're saying that it's better than PS4 Pro. And, I mean, of course, the numbers don't lie. It is statistically, it looks like it's better than PS4 Pro. But my thing is... They always it's saying 4K, 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 but everything is 4K now. You know, the games are gonna look good regardless whether it's on a PS4 Pro, whether it's on a P, an Xbox One X or an Xbox One S or a regular Xbox One or regular PS4. Everything is still gonna look good, so it doesn't matter. Like, shoot, we used to play we used to play Super Nintendo, and we had a great time. It wasn't all about graphics. It wasn't all about frame rate and stuff like that. It, we love the game. We want to play the game. That's it. It's not about the system itself anymore. It's about the games you come out from the system. You can't sell me a system and then not give me games. It's like that's that's another thing. They're trying to sell these systems. <clears throat> you no know, Sony, Xbox. This is going off co I'm going completely off topic here because I'm going right off the top of my head. This is just a little rant. But they're trying to sell the system clearly off of Specs. We don't care about if the game is shooting in 8K or 40,000K. We don't care about that shit. We care about the games that you make for the system, not the damn games themselves. I can give a damn about if the, if the game, ha if the fucking systems have 
40 gigs of RAM or 12 million gigs of RAM. I don't give a damn. If you come out with a system that that damn powerful, you better come out with some goddamn good games. Like, so stop trying to sell the systems comparing them with specs. We don't care about specs. We care about the games that are on the systems. And that's what these companies, that's what Sony and Microsoft are seeming to not understand. They're coming out with like 15 game consoles a year or every four, every two years they're coming out with a game console now. I remember back then, shoot, we could get a console every seven years or every six years. It wasn't like every two years or every three years we get a new console. And then on top of that, they're not even giving us a new console. It's literally just an upgraded version of a console that came out four years ago. So it's not really a new console because they're still calling it an Xbox One. They're still calling it Xbox One S. They're still calling it Xbox One X. Have you noticed the pattern? Xbox One, PS4, PS4 Pro. And then the PS4 came out with that little small mini PS4 it was kind of like a middle point between the Pro and the regular one. So it's like you keep coming out with all these systems and I'm thinking to myself, it's not about the system. It's about the games you make for these systems. Because without the games, I won't be buying your goddamn system. Like, they don't understand that. See, this is slowly turning into a rant. I didn't want it to turn into a rant. And that's just basically the premise of this video I'm making. It's like, comparing the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro or any Xbox and any PS4 or any goddamn Nintendo Switch or whatever the hell you want to compare, it's not about the systems. It's about the games. And I think that's what's kind of happening with Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo. They're all forgetting about the games and they're selling the system they're trying to sell a system but they're not giving us especially with xbox xbox is having a pretty bad like they had a pretty bad first start of the year when it came to gaming they had no exclusives they had they barely came out with any games and any game that did come out for the xbox for xbox one was basically on the ps4 as well or in microsoft so it's like your system is not going to sell itself the games are going to sell your system you know and that's basically the premise of everything it's all about the games not the systems so with that thought how do you feel about that you know comment down below share your thoughts let me know how you feel about this topic do you think the system sell themselves or do you think the games sell the system because i want to hear what you think so as always this your boy Tyrus, aka Butter Tank Gaming, BK, Paris with the T, and I'm out of here. Peace.